What's up, everybody? We're back with another haul, and we have another sealed 80s toy, much like the other sealed 80s toys in the last haul video. You should go and check that video out. But uh, we have a seal. We only do sealed up in here. Sealed Transformers Nose Cone. My man of the Technobots. Uh, now, I actually, of all the combiners of the Transformers, I had all of the figures that formed Computron back in the day. I don't know how that was, because I would, you know, like, I would have maybe, say, a Mixmaster from Devastator, or maybe, you know, like, one or two robots that formed one of the combiners, but never all of them, except for this, except for Computron, but yeah, and I had this, to well, which goes to, which, uh, what's the phrase, what's the phrase? Which goes to say, or which goes without saying, that I had this. And whenever I would, like, dig around in my in my attic when I was a kid, like, maybe in the 90s or something like that, I would always run, I always always run across this. You know what I'm saying? So this, this is bringing back a lot of memories. But I never had the little decoy, though. So this is cool and it's unpunched. I got this for 250 uh a couple weeks ago. And interestingly enough, on eBay this week, there was a seller, the auctions all ended, but this guy had a ton of sealed a ton of sealed transformers. And one of them was uh, Nose Cone. And that thing sold for roughly $700. Now, this seller got a lot for his figures. So, yeah, I was happy to see that this uh, went for a little bit of scratch. You know, uh, given that I paid only $250 for this. All right, so uh, that's my 80s toy of the week and we're gonna move on to a proper comic book haul and what are we talking about here what are we talking about here play we have ourselves a copy of does anybody remember okay so this is supergirl 50 this is the i believe this is a one in ten joshua middleton variant does anybody remember a few years ago when this thing was super duper hard to find and i mean hella hard to find and every time i'd search for supergirl 50 hell even the regular cover of supergirl 50 was relatively tough to find and went for a respectable amount but what did i want to say about this okay so uh, there was a seller there that i had run into at the other, at the previous toy show. And he was just, you know, the guy that I bought those dollar books from. And he was set up here, but he had, you know, kind of more, you know, more premium books. But I got a great deal on a lot of these books. And I wind up, so I wound up spending roughly, I sold some books. So, um, so basically I wound up paying 30 bucks <laughs> for these next few dollars for these next few comics here. So, uh, get, so yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get into it. Supergirl 50 and, uh, the Joshua Milton variant. And so after selling a handful of books that I bought, I wound up paying 30 bucks. All right, we're moving on. Uh, damn, I, there was a lot more to buy there, but I was just like, damn, it was it was it was a lot. He's gonna be setting up at another show pretty soon, and I'm I'm going I'm going straight to his booth when I see him. We have Green Lantern number forty three, 
This is the, I believe this is a 1 in 25 variant. And I, like, I got good deals already. And then he like discounted it even more. I was just like, damn, this, it was just oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is a, who did this cover? I can't. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Now we got to move on. We got to move on. Because when I play back this video, I'm gonna be like, dude, you're like, you're meandering. <laughs> so Green Lantern number forty three. Uh, so this is where the the Black Hand becomes a Black Lantern. Okay, we move on. Generation Hope number two. The Georgievic variant. Let's see, do I have what you gonna call it? Where is this book? Yeah. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay. So here is number one. This is a book that I've been after for a long time. I had shown this off probably, I want to say a year ago. But yeah, and this is another one of those books that I had been after. So yeah, Generation Hope number two. This book doesn't actually go for a lot, but I don't know, it's just a great cover. Next, we have Fantastic Four number 583. This is a Doctor Doom variant. I don't... I can't say what the ratio is on this but this is a pretty brisk seller i want to say this is roughly a 25 to 30 dollar book and i would have to imagine once say uh, dr doom makes it to the big screen somehow some way this book should go for a lot more I didn't know this book even existed. I came across it. I'm like, this is a great cover. And this is from, uh, I want to say, Hickman's run on Fantastic Four. Ah, uh, damn it. Do I want, no, I don't want to open it up. I don't want to open it up. But this is from the run that I was reading at the time. So I'm surprised to see this cover. You know what I'm saying? Because I have the regular cover for this. Uh, kicking around somewhere. All right. Uh, what's next? What's next? Now, here's a book that I've been after. So we have Batman Battle for the Cowl number three. So this is where Damian Wayne becomes a Robin. He becomes Robin. Okay. All right. It's all good. It's all good. I This book, I want to say goes from maybe 20 to 30 on a good day but this is a this is a book that i had been after I, this guy had so many great great variants i, I should have bought more <laughs> uh batman number 686 i forget what the ratio is on this maybe a one in 25 maybe i forget uh, what's the significance on this? I forget. <laughs> I told, you know what? Let's open this up just to see. I, cause I kind of forget why I bought this. And there was a copy, I believe sold for about $30, uh, this week. Is this a Damien Wayne thing or no? Or is it just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not sure what's going on here, but. We got to move on. Sketch cover of number 686. Uh, more Batman. I like this cover a lot. Underrated cover, in my opinion. Doesn't sell for anything, but I like it anyway. So this is Batman and Robin number one, J.G. Jones, 1 in 25 variant. This is from that same time period where J.G. Jones was doing those Batman Reborn. And this is from the same... This is from that same group of variants where the Gotham City Sirens number one came from. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I this is an underrated variant in my opinion. All right. Ooh, now this is a book that I had been after for a very, 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 very long time. Finally got this thing. 
So we have Batman Cacophony number three. I believe it's a one in 25 uh, Sienkiewicz variant and uh, featuring the Joker. Now this book has cooled off significantly uh, since, you know, getting really hot, but still I'd been after it. And um, like I said, like he, it was funny cause he had like 125 on it. And he's just like, I'll give it to you for 50. And I'm like, what? And then I like bought some, then I like picked out some more books and he still charged me the same 50. You know what I'm saying? So very, very, very generous seller. And uh, I think he, on top of him being generous and just an overall good dude, he just, I think he just kind of wants to, you know, just clear out comics. That's what it seems like. But yeah, it, it was weird about his booth because I hadn't gotten to his table I got to his table about maybe an hour, maybe even two hours after the show had started, right? And there were guys already there. So I'm just like, damn, what the hell else did he have? And because guys had like stacks of books and I'm picking stuff like this out and guys already had stacks of books. So I'm just like, damn, what the hell else was there, <laughs> you know? So I, I really hope to run into him again. All right, what's next? What's next? Booster Gold number one, I believe. So this is a, I want to say this is this is another Arthur Adams cover. And I believe this is a one in 25. Hmm, okay, it's all good. It's all good. One in 25. I don't think this book really sells for anything, but this is a cover I had never seen before, so... All right, it's all good. What's next? Uh, I saw this. I'm just like, yeah, let me go ahead and pick it up. Supernatural Rising Sun number one. This is a variant. I I want to say either one in 10 or one in 25. But uh, why not pick it up? Why not? I don't know if this thing really goes for anything, if it goes for too much, but I figured I'd pick it up. Uh, here's a book that I love, and I came across it again, Green Lantern Corps number 53, variant featuring uh, Sinestro's daughter, I forget her name, and here's a variant that I absolutely love and was specking on for a few years now, that I have been specking on for a few years now, Superior Spider-Man number 33, first appearance of Bricks and Bora of the Inheritors, the group of basically spider killers they they go from dimension to dimension killing different spider-men and uh this book I, this book did go for a little something for a time but then kind of i don't know kind of petered out you know what i'm saying like as most as most of the books have in these past uh, few months but I still like this book, and I saw it for cheap. Let me go ahead and pick it up. And last but not least, from the table, from the seller's table, we have New X-Men number 20 with X-23 on the cover. Okay, all right. And there was another book that I had picked up at the show from another seller. I love this book. I came across it. And, like, I can't find a lick of information on this. So we have First Kiss number... Ooh! Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it. Okay, so first... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta look it up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh. Darn it. I looked this up. So First Kiss... Okay, so first kiss number 30. First kiss number 30 from Charlton Comics. And I believe this is either 1962 or 1963. And this is just, I love romance covers. This is like, you can almost call this a crime cover. You know what I'm saying? So something like this, which is just, hella catchy and the condition on this is solid 
and the price I paid 10 bucks. So he had it for 50, got it for 10. And there was a copy on Hip Comic that I had seen that sold for about $74. And but I don't know when it sold though, you know what I'm saying? Because I did a Google search on this, and it had popped up by way of a hip comic, and it just said it sold for seventy four dollars. But I'm not sure when. You know, it could have been the week prior. It could have been. It could be like two years, two years ago. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this thing is on point this is a great cover look at that Ugh. yeah this is this is my romance here turn the lights down low it's time to get romantic <laughs> all right uh here's some books that i picked up from another show uh, a couple weeks ago i figured let's go ahead and show these off uh, i believe these were like five and two dollars a piece so i got this for Two dollars. I think I got this for two fifty. So X Men number four fifty one. Uh, this is part of that first meeting of X twenty three and Wolverine. Uh, here is Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider Man number one. Uh, the photo cover, good looking cover. Uh, what did I want to say about this? I uh, got that for five dollars. I figured, why not? Why not? Photo cover for five bucks. Uh, got that for two fifty. So we have Batman Superman number eight, first appearance of the new Supergirl from uh, my beautiful, beautiful Michael Turner cover and Michael Turner art. So this is basically basically my first exposure to Michael Turner as by as far as interior art goes you know what i'm saying because i had never seen his interior art before and like when i saw it for the first time it felt it felt a lot like say it felt like a mix between todd mcfarlane and mark silvestri as far as uh his interior art goes but, uh, yeah, with, it's like, with a, with a very, 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 very slight, uh, very slight twist of, say, like, J. Scott Campbell or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, we have uh, Superman Batman number eight, we're rounding the bases, heading home, this should be a short video. It shouldn't take that long. You can you can go about your business <laughs> fast. Midnight Suns number nine. I believe I paid five bucks for this. Featuring uh I don't know. <laughs> this is just a good Alex Ross cover. And last but not least, we have Batman number 21, second print, first appearance of Duke Thomas. And I believe that is it. That's my haul. And we should be back with another one. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. All right, bye.